Hello everyone, welcome all of you to the public relations and editorial uh, session of ADTS. Yes, uh, we can move on. Yes, next slide, please. Okay, so PR is basically the vibrant core within road track. Uh, so we try to um, say what we do through road track, uh, through public relations. So public relations is important because uh, it is the way we can communicate with um, everyone and also uh, it creates a platform uh, to, for creativity and then um, we can show road tracks influence through public relations. Yes, we can move on. Okay, so basically our team uh, is headed by uh, road tractor past president Sahan, who is the overlooking ADRR for the PR and editorial avenue. And then we have uh, our PR chairs, Road Tractor Past President Praneet and Road Tractor Apeksha. And then uh, from the editorial uh, team, we have Road Tractor Immediate Past President Akitya, Road Tractor Past President Tarusha, uh, Paul Harris Pro, Road Tractor Past President Praveena. And from the PR team, we have Road Tractor Manusha, Road Tractor Dinuki, Road Tractor Immediate Past President Sajivan. Road Tractor Immediate Past President Tisal, Road Tractor Venuja, and Road Tractor Mindya. Yes, we can move on. Okay, so basically the district initiatives we are doing this year uh, under the PR and editorial avenue uh, branding. Uh, so branding is a quarterly avenue training workshop done by the PR team along with uh, several host clubs. So apart from that, uh, within branding, we are planning to have e-newsletters and e-trainings as well. Yes, we can move on. Uh, so Rockfluences is another district initiative uh, which we are planning to do under the PR and editorial avenue. Here, uh, we are planning to have a portal of district road track influencers and key opinion leaders who um, will be uh, promoting road track uh, projects of individual road track clubs. Yes, we can move on. Uh, so road track power, um, basically here we focus on increasing the number of road track volunteers and to grow the movement. Endorsements, radio endorsements and basically promoting what we do as road trackers. Next slide please. Uh, so the importance of the public relations and editorial avenue um, stems from the reasons like um, PR and editorial helps develop a communication strategy, a content strategy, and help develop a good relationship with uh, third-party media providers and then uh, other uh, road tractors and the general public as well. So we are able to um, drive attention to what we do through road track, through the PR and editorial avenue. Next slide, please. So the role of directors consists on uh, collaborating with other avenues and then creating uh, cr engaging content and then leveraging the social media use so that um, 
what we do as road tractors is known to the general public. Uh, it's next slide, please. Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm manager, Protractor Manager Silva, uh, Joint Director of Public Relations. So let's talk about the uh, PR guidelines. So why do we have guidelines to uh, public relations in Protract? You might be thinking that we are limiting your creativity or like we are putting barriers for you, for your creativity. So why do we have guidelines? Uh, imagine uh, you are you got a uh, sponsorship for your for a project of yours. So uh, let's say let's see it is from some brand for brand like Unilever or Nestle or something. So do they allow you to change their logos uh, as you wish? No, right? They have their gui own guidelines. They have their own color palettes, uh, own guidelines. Uh, they don't allow you to uh, manipulate their logo as you wish. So like that, uh, Rotract is also a brand. So we can't do uh, any manipulations or anything we like with the this, with this brand. So we have to follow the guidelines given to us by the Rotary International. So we have to keep in mind, uh, you have to keep in mind these regu uh, guidelines when you are doing peer, public, public relations for your uh, clubs as well. So first we have the logo guide. Uh, First, we have the Rotaract Master Brand Signature Logo. So this logo is called Rotaract Master Brand Signature Logo with the Rotaract uh, branding and uh, Rotary International wording in the wheel and the uh, especially the registered trademark icon. So this is a change we have introduced in the last year. So we still see some clubs use uh, the logo without that registered trademark icon. So please make sure you use the new logo with the registered trademark icon. Uh, we, you can download this uh, master brand signature logo from the uh, Rotaract Brand Center we have provided you. We have shared an email with the council so you can uh, contact your president and secretaries um, and uh, get that uh, drive folder which is the Rotaract uh, Brand Center. So in that uh, drive folder you can uh, find these uh, Rotaract Master Brand Signature Logo with the registered trademark icon. So it comes in three colors. Uh, so this color is actually called Cranberry. Don't call it pink or anything. This is uh, called Cranberry. So it comes in Cranberry, white and black. So you can use only these three colors uh, with the Rotaract Master Brand Signature Logo, Rotaract Logo. You can't change the logo color as you wish. Uh, uh, if you think you can, uh, you want to add a blue color or any, uh, maybe yellow color, don't use any color rather than these three colors. Right? So uh, you have to use these three colors and these called Rotaract Master Brand Signature Logo. Next, we have the simplified logo. So this is the simplified logo is used for uh, in occasions where the uh, let's say you are printing a t-shirt or uh, like you are printing a badge for your in installations so when you are printing a t-shirt uh, most uh, uh, usually when you are em embroidering a t-shirt uh, the logo the parts where these uh, rotary international wording and the registered trademark icon won't be visible when you are embroidering uh, the logo so, uh, and when you are uh, printing a badge on uh, on maybe on metal, you are when you are embossing a uh, badge. So, in those occasions, the Rotary International wording and the uh, registered trademark icon in the uh, master brand signature logo won't be visible. So, you can use the simplified logo only in those occasions. Okay, so do not use this in any PR material. We also see uh, some clubs use this logo for their PR material. So please don't use this uh, logo when you are uh, designing flyers or editing videos. Don't use this logo. You can use this logo only when you are embroidering a t-shirt or printing a badge. Uh, usually, if the uh, 
logo is smaller than 1.25 centimeters or 0.5 inches. Then club logos. Uh, so you can generate the club logo only using this uh, link we provided you, the Rotary Brand Center, not Rotary Brand Center, Rotary Brand Center. Don't do not manually generate the club logo. You have to generate it using the Rotary Brand Center. So as these examples, uh, you can make the club logo to uh, include your uh, club name under the logo or both up, uh, above and uh, below the logo or both above and below the logo. So for example, if your cl club name is shorter like United City, you can use it below the logo. Uh, but let's say if your uh, club uh, club name is longer one, like the University of Chicago Faculty of Science and Technology, you can use the name above and below the logo, right? So uh, we'll show you a demo how to uh, generate this logo uh, using the Rotary Brand Center. you can use this link to go to the Rotary Brand Center or you can search Google for Rotary Brand Center. Then the website looks like this. You have to select from here, select create a club logo. Then you have to select you are from a Rotary Club. So you have to select Rotary from here. And then Rotary logo template right here then create okay now from here in the left corner you can use the use these uh, drop down menus to select the logo needed for you so first of all you have to select regular or simplified so as I mentioned earlier, for the flyers and videos and everything for PR materials, use the regular logo. For printing purposes, or when you are embroidering a t-shirt, please use the simplified logo. So it's better to, it's better to download both the uh, versions of the logo, download it and keep keeping in, uh, keep it with you. So when you are do using, uh, using it for a flyer, you can use the same, uh, regular logo and then if you are maybe printing a t-shirt or something you can use the, use the simplified logo so first uh, we'll select regular and then the color so we have we have three options cranberry white and black so you have to download all the three colors so you can uh, use them accordingly so let's select cranberry for the moment and then the alignment here you can uh, select below logo above logo above and below logo so we recommend you to use below logo if your club name is uh, smaller like United City and above and logo, above and below logo if your club name is uh, longer. So I select above and below logo then for here, this here you can type what should, uh, the part of the name you have, you, you should uh, be displayed in the, displayed above the logo. So right here I type University of Chicago and here I type I don't know yeah. one I enter a space and and I match. okay so my logo is my logo have generated automatically here right here then you can select download file you have three options pdf jpg and png so we recommend you download the png version so you can easily use it in any material so select png it is generating then png generation successful it will be downloaded automatically so that is how you should generate the club logo don't manually 
edit it, you have to use this rotary brand center to uh, generate your club load. Uh, let's move on. Next, we have the club logo with RI theme. So this year, the Rotary International theme is uh, the magic of Rotary. You can use your club logo with the RI theme as a lockup. So when you are uh, using it as a lockup, uh, please make sure the uh, both the logos are visible and you might have any uh, like doubts uh, between what should be the ratio between the uh, RI logo and the club logo. So you can use this as a guide to, uh, to uh, take the ratio, uh, what should be the ratio between the club logo and the RI team logo. So uh, always make sure to uh, include a divider between these logos. Uh, uh, vertical line to uh, divide the two logos. So this will be, you can use this as a guide to uh, have measure the ratio between your club logo and the RI team logo. Next, uh, your logo usage best practices. Your, so when you are using the logo, uh, make sure it has sufficient contrast between the background and the logo. So here, in the first peak image, you can see the background is also pink, pink color, and the when we have used the cranberry color logo. So don't use uh, non-contrasting colors uh, with your logo. So always make sure sure the logo is contrasting with the background. Then um, don't use your logo with uh, like noisy backgrounds, uh, like with special effects. Always make sure it is clear background. Then uh, do not use any shapes around the logo like this, like a oval. Don't use any shapes. Uh, it should be a clear background. Then you have, uh, like the last one, don't use any reflections, any shadows. Don't use any of any of those. Uh, you The Rotaract logo should be as it is. Next, uh, breathing space. So. When you are using the Rotaract logo in your flyers, always make sure to keep a breathing space around the uh, club logo, uh, which is which should be roughly uh, uh, in the measure of the R letter, capital R letter of the uh, Rotaract logo. So keep a um, minimum space of capital R R letter of your uh, of your club logo around the logo to uh, keep a good breathing space. Next, uh, use of the RI theme. So this year we don't have any horizontal uh, RI theme and vertical RI theme. We only have one uh, RI theme logo. So you can use it as a with, with as a lockup with the divider in the center of the uh, flyer. You can use use it separately on the left uh, Rotaract logo and on the on, on the right uh, Magic of Rotary logo. But make sure both the logos are top of your flyer. You can't include the club logo or the RI theme logo uh, beneath the, the bottom part of the flyer. Always make sure you, you uh, include the logo at the top of your flyer. Next, uh, using logos in promotional materials, club logo without without RI theme. So when you're uh, using the logo in the PR, uh, PR materials, uh, you can use the club logo with or without the RIT. So when you are using it without the RIT, always make sure the club logo is uh, at the top part of the flyer and you can align it in uh, in your preference as uh, left aligned, center aligned or right aligned. So you can use any alignment, but the logo should be at the top. Next, uh, club logo with RIT. So as I mentioned, you can use it, uh, use it as a lockup. So, and also to make sure to use it contrasting to the background. So you can use a, a white uh, box under your logo to make it more visible. Or if it if it uh, if it's a dark background, you can use the white logo. Or if it is a white background or any light color background, you can use the black logo. But make sure it is a contrasting color with the logo. So in this also, you can use the uh, colored full colored logo with cranberry logo and the uh, full colored RIT with the white background, or you can use the white or black lockup with the uh, dark or light background. 
next joint projects so when you are doing a joint project you have to use the protract master brand signature logo without the club name right so if uh, uh, imagine you are doing a uh, joint project with another protract club you have to use the master brand signature logo not your individual club logo you have to use the protract master brand signature logo so and under the flyer you have to mention all the clubs in the order uh, in the alphabetical order for example here we have mentioned an initiative by the rotary clubs of countryside and united city if there are three or more clubs you have to separate the club names of the first first club names uh, using commas and the uh, last two club names using and uh, in in uh, you can type it type and or you can use the ampersand but the first clubs you have to use the com commas to separate the club names for the last two clubs you can type and or type the ampersand icon uh, then uh, uh, join projects rotate master brand logo with rit uh, you can uh, for the join projects also you can use the rit team if you uh, prefer to use the rit then uh, join projects with rotary or interact clubs when you are doing a rotary or interact uh, project with the rotary or interact clubs you have to use the three logos in this order first rotary then rotaract then interact you have to you follow these guidelines you have to follow this order okay you can't put rotaract logo in the front or maybe rotary logo in the uh, back don't use uh, like that you have to use rotary rotaract interact that order and at the bottom when you are mentioning the club names first you have to include all the rotary clubs in the alphabetical order then all the rotary clubs in the alphabetical order and then all the interact clubs in the alphabetical order so for example here we have an initiative by the rotary club of united city together with the rotary club of united city and the interact club of united city so first rotary clubs in the alphabetical order then rotary clubs in the alphabetical order then the interact clubs in the alphabetical order next we have social media profile picture guidelines so we have provided this uh, template in our rotary brand center the drive folder which we shared with your uh, which is shared with the council uh, so make sure you change your profile picture with this template right so we are doing this because we need to have a uh, unique brand image uh, for rotary clubs in all the social media platforms because some clubs use their own designs uh, own logos so when we are when we search the rotary name in in any social media all the we have several kinds of logos in uh, in every club so it doesn't look nice so make sure you we have given a deadline the deadline is all have already have uh, passed so but if you haven't already uh, changed your club logo according to this template please make sure to change it so the only thing you have to do is download that template and in that we have a smart object uh, is a photoshop file in that we have a smart object so you can add your own club logo to that smart object then you have to export it and uh, use the logo if you can't uh, use photoshop or you if you need any any help make sure to contact us uh, we will be there for you so make sure you uh, change your uh, profile pictures of all social media platforms by using this uh, image uh, as soon as possible next we have the club banner so we have two options for club banner one is white background and cranberry logo and cranberry color letters and option 2 is cranberry background and white logo and the white letters so for this also we have provided you with a, a template in our rotract brand center if you haven't already received this brand center please contact your president or secretary uh, they have we have sent them an email with this uh, link so what you have to do is da again download the template uh choose uh, what, what the whether you want to uh, use option 1 or option 2 then again we have smart object over there uh, you can add your own club logo change your sponsoring rotary club change your charter date then export it and print it so in the adrr receipts and drr receipts this will be checked by the adrr and drr so make sure 
before that you changed your club banner because uh, last year we have as i mentioned we have changed the club logo to include the registered trademark icon so some clubs uh, still have the uh, earlier versions which had doesn't have that registered trademark icon so before your adrr and adrr visits make sure you uh, uh, download this template change at your club logo and print the club banner with the newer version next for merchandise guide i invite uh, manusha to continue with the presentation hi guys i'm dr raptor manusha uh, thank you manusha so when it comes to merchandise we these are the two designs that we suggest you to use it's just recommended designs and there are some a uh, few compulsory rules and regulations you need to follow the first one would be the rotract logo should not be on the left side of the t-shirt and should not be smaller than 1.25 cm that means 0.5 inches so don't make it more smaller because the your logo will not be visible if you make it like that more than small than that you have to simplify rotract logo only on t-shirts and merchandise when the size is more than 1.25 as when you mentioned previously within the logo usage if you see your logo is less than 1.25 cm and your printing players requires you to use a simplified version please use this logo so this logo can be used in mostly embroidery process that means official is not wet look ones they will not sport in t-shirts the ones with colors and colors and which looks official so and other thing is that i'm i'm repeating it again no do not use it, use these as in any social media or any printable or any sponsoring materials is logos only on merchandise only and keep in mind this is like a mo most important guide to follow and you all need to send us the version of the t-shirt or design before getting into printing so you want proper permission from the pr and editorial team if you are proceeding with the t-shirt to your printing place. Manager, next slide, please. So the next one is our rotract pin. So the district has district media group. District we have suggested you using uh, recommended using some designs. So we are suggesting you all to use a rectangular design with option one and option two uh, pins for your yeah actually when you're starting area your beauty pins can be designed like this but this is just a suggestion only from our side it's just recommended that's it so you all can have with their brand signature with rotary here <clears throat> rotary man brand signature with other rotary here and your beauty name or anything so we have suggested three color options gold silver and white and this if you want to follow these designs and if you find like you have recreated it, don't worry, got your back. So we have already uploaded the design in all three color options to, to our brand center. And please request your presidents or secretaries to send you all the link for the brand center. And it says uh, attract pin. There's a folder separately for the elements with logos and everything. So you have to update the smart object and change the designs and all. Manager, next up, next, <coughs> next page. <coughs> so, so, these are the incorrect usage of Rotary team logo. So, when you are using the logo, Rotary magic of Rotary logo, make sure you are using it in the correct way. Don't add strokes, don't add drop shadows, don't change the colors, don't add shapes, don't like tilted it, alter it, change the portions of the stars or anything. Just keep it as it is. And use it to your artwork. If you, if you feel like you can't fit on your artwork, just use your track logo only. If not, just use a lockup, white lockup, and use the both logos. Watch the next slide. So, typography, we have given you some options. This first is Futigal LTSTD. This is the uh, Rotrack font, actually, which is called the Rotrack font, as we use for Rotrack. It's a paid font, actually. So, you all have to pay for get pay, pay for use of CDs. Uh, and you all have a lot of to buy it. We have already purchased it and put on our brand guideline once again. So brand center has it inside of that as well. Watch the next slide, please. So 
we have suggested two documentary forms, documentary typography for a documentary process. Documentary processes are, can be letter sharing, addressing sponsors, final proposals, and whatever, whatever, whatnot. So we have uh, as a primary font, we have given this B. So this B is there, and secondary font would be larger. So these two fonts are clearly visible in heavily word proposals and where guidelines or whatever. And we have used the same font in our brand guideline as well. In the your track hand handbook, we are using the same fonts. So these fonts files are in the drive as well. Next slide, please. So for social media typography, as you all know, we are going on a kingdom theme. So most of you all know presently. So we are using iron steel as our, one of our main social media type of primary fonts to use. Uh, we don't recommend, like we don't compulsory, compulsory to use that. This is the set fonts only. Okay, right? We're just recommending you Our secondary font for body text and would be Poppins. And our, another secondary font too would be Visible. So we suggest you all using clearly visible fonts to in your typing like donation pools, informatic pools and stuff. You all can use any font you want. You are open for that. You are, we are not suggesting you all use these only three, four, three fonts. You all can use many fonts apart from this. Next, please. So this is the recommended club head. Right head. <clears throat> so we have uploaded the design. Well, uh, let's say everything in your drag as well. And a small note, please refrain, refrain from using the district logo for your club letter heads. Please replace your logo with your own club logo and use it as well. So we have got some few complaints and we have seen uh, documentators transferring here and there with the Rockstar district logo, which we all might be mistakenly using. And if you and don't, another, another mistake I uh, learned is like using the both club logo and district logo in the recommend letter head. So make sure you all doesn't do that mistake. Just go through it. Remove your remove the strip logo and put your own logo and this is a suggested design, a recommended club letter design. You all can be creative and have your own designs because most of the club does that. This is just a design that we recommend you all from our end of end end. Next slide please. Now uh, when it comes to photography and branding guideline. So actually we suggest you all taking pictures of action movements. So this is like a one of the main concerns that have been addressed by the Rotary as well. So people in action. So Rotary uh, has advised you to use people in action. So when you're posting on social media, make sure your first picture or a carousel or album, like the main shown pictures would be action pictures, not just portraits of people's funerals, posing or group pictures or whatnot. May try to focus and show more people in action, like they are doing something. What they as I shown examples, action picture. And when it comes to branding it, make sure you have a proper watermark saying which club, like your club logo and what's the project and, and year, whatnot. So you all know when when some after a year or two, when you go to that, you know this is the project happened in this year and this is what happened in this club. So when it goes outside of our track, even so. People will know uh, this is done by Rotrack, one of the clubs in the Rotrack district, and it's done this year and this same, of course. So make sure that you're using proper branding. You all can have a separate drive. It's just like using a separate folder or drive or any, any sort of a thing to put uh, personal posing pictures, like portraits, uh, uh, group photos, and stuff, and use mainly people in action photos in your social media. So when uploading a Facebook album, that's fine. But make sure you all upload like first 10 to 20 pictures in people's in action. Then you can upload the rest in the <clears throat> in the uh, coming days. Uh, so now I invite Rotractum India to uh, take over the meeting about social media platforms. And let's be ready. Thank you, Manusha. So I'm Minda Pravindi, one of the PR directors for the district. So talking about the digital platform, so it is very uh, compulsory and mandatory to maintain the uh, accounts in the below platforms, namely Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, and YouTube. So if you are if you don't have an account yet in the below platforms, uh, please do make one right away and do share the links with us. Uh, you can email us 
your links to your respective social media accounts through an email. Moving on. All right, so uh, objective wise talking about the plat platform. So Facebook, we are mainly focusing on increasing the page followers, likes and maximizing the post engagement. So uh, uh, talking about the creatives, you can uh, use the standard size of one to one ratio and always follow the designer guide. And um, we recommend you to post during peak times. Um, you can have a little bit research on these peak times because it uh, differs uh, time to time, dates to date. So we would like to recommend you to uh, look over it. And uh, talking about content language, um, we would ask you to recommend you to always match the project nature. And you can always use the uh, trilingual post in English, Sinhala and Tamil. Uh, and always use include you uh, uh, relevant hashtags in order for more engagement. Next slide. Uh, for stories, uh, post stories, versions of project creatives. And also for this, uh, we would recommend you the size uh, 1080 uh, into 1920. And for use um, video contents uh, for projects, uh, we would like, you, like to invite you to have uh, reels and videos because then you could have more engagement on the respective projects that you are going to do. Talking about Instagram, so mainly we are focusing on um, increasing page followers, post and story engagement, as well as video views. Same as Facebook, but uh, um, the audience might get changed when it comes to Instagram uh, because the target group that we are targeting uh, in Instagram um, uh, kind of differ from Facebook. So the creatives uh, would go as standard sizes uh, uh, to triple O into two triple O uh, pixels uh, and uh, we would ask you to follow the designer guide um, and same as uh, Facebook, please post during peak times. And uh, when you post uh, stories um, or your project uh, creatives, please do tag the Rotrack district page and uh, language wise, we would ask you to match the project nature and always use trilingual post named in English, Tamil and Sinhala and use the hashtags as well. Um, so a trilingual introductory post, we would uh, recommend you to use one per language and post it in language order as a uh, carousel. So um, here also, when it comes to stories, uh, post story versions of uh, project creatives and standard size for stories are 1080 into 1920. And um, talking about the video content for Instagram, you can post reels as well as uh, use appropriate thumbnails because you can always uh, change the thumbnail apart from the video. So we would uh, recommend you to use a very creative thumbnail uh, in order for awareness, attraction, and um, all the engagement. Uh, then talking about the LinkedIn. Uh, so this platform differs from um, uh, the other platforms that we talked earlier because this is a uh, kind of very professional and we try to engage with the more corporate audience in LinkedIn. So um, profile creation is mandatory and every club must create uh, their LinkedIn profiles by July 31st, which means uh, we have already passed the deadline. Uh, so if you have still, um, if you all don't have an account yet, uh, please do make an account right away and please do share the link with us um, through an email. Uh, so for follower growth, we would uh, recommend you to focus on increasing followers to establish professional relationships uh, and also follow and mention sponsors, partners uh, for project updates. So this platform is um, uh, can be very important for you all to uh, maybe gain awareness about uh, the corporate environment and for you all to uh, see what are the potential companies that would like you to give sponsorship. So please connect uh, with those companies, talk to them and um, explain what, they, uh, what you all are doing so that they could contribute to you as well. So content wise, we primarily um, recommend you to post in English with a professional tone and you can use um, three to four hashtags. Uh, uh, so don't clutter with uh, using like uh, 
more than uh, three, four hashtags. And also, um, if you all need any content advice uh, when posting in LinkedIn, please contact Rotractor Apeksha Pereira. You can uh, find all the details in your um, given handbook. Moving on, um, so for this also, creatives are in the standard size of one-to-one -one ratio. And please do follow the designer guide here as well. And please utilize post and video content. Moving on. Um, uh, when it comes to TikTok, uh, here it's a very, uh, you know, chill, um, not so professional platform, but please do maintain uh, your, um, uh, maybe the club's um, very good, um, uh what do you call it professionalism even though this is not professional a uh, platform please do keep all your respect and all the stuff and so um here also profile creation is mandatory you have to create your profile by 31st july um like i said deadline has passed and please do inform inform the di uh, district pr team via um an email with the profile link so for follow growth, focus on increasing followers and maximizing video views. So we, you, you all might know uh, various tips uh, in order to increase uh, followers as well as to um, maximize the video views. So please do follow those as well. And talking about the content, uh, please um, separate video content for projects and club engagement. So we would be... Um, we would be recommending you to use um, two types of videos, one for uh, video content for your project and separately for club engagement, maybe some fun TikTok trends uh, to, you know, show um, what are you all doing as a club. So keep that in mind as well and uh, use vital soundtrack trends and hashtag in order to gain more awareness, uh, maybe views um, and likes as well. So in TikTok stories, um, use relevant videos as stories if not posting as regular posts so um have a very um good uh, understanding about the difference between these stories and post uh, because you all don't have to post uh, every um uh, tiktok that goes as a post in your account as a story but uh, please do uh, have uh, put stories as well for the engagement moving on uh, then comes to YouTube. Uh, uh, what we have noticed uh, throughout all these years uh, was uh, that not many are using or uh, utilizing this YouTube platform um, in an effective manner. But this is a very uh, good platform in order for you all to get uh, awareness, engagement, uh, have your growth as a club. So we would uh, recommend you to um, uh, create your accounts if you all don't have one. And please uh, do inform us uh, through an email uh, by including your profile link. And for subscriber growth, uh, focus on increasing sub uh, subscribers, engagement, which means likes and comments, and video views. So for content, uh, create video content for project um, marketing and club activities. So you all can have separate videos uh, for club activities separately as well as the projects as well. And when it comes to shorts, uh, use relevant videos as YouTube shorts because not every video can be used as a short. So have uh, the uh, specifications uh, clear there as well. Uh, moving on. All right, so um, uh, tagging guidelines are as, um, you should always tag Rotary, then draw track, interact clubs alphabet, uh, alphabetically. Uh, so first comes Rotary, then draw track, and then interact. And always ensure social media content is appropriate and non-offensive. Uh, and uh, post frequencies are for Facebook, Please uh, do post three to four original posts per week. And for Instagram, uh, two, three original posts per week. So um, repost relevant content. And on LinkedIn also, please have two to three posts per week and share an article every other day. Um, and comes to TikTok, um, please do maintain a frequency of one to two videos per week on TikTok platform as well. Venture moving on. Yes, uh, then comes to the general rules. Uh, so 
um i'll just read it out because uh, there's no uh, big of a deal in the understanding of these uh, rules so no retract branding during non retract activities and please check audio for inappropriate language before posting stories always use the same profile link cover pictures across all platforms optimizing uh, both desktop and mobile uh and we would recommend you to use uh, human based visual elements in imagery wherever possible and use a consistent yearly color theme for social media creatives use mandatory district hashtags along with club specific ones uh, use fever uh, hashtags in linkedin like i've mentioned earlier and create a pr plan for each project um and if you all need any help uh, please do reach out to us contact us uh, we have given you all our contact details so um that's about the general rules of uh, pia yes so that's wind up my part uh, i would like to hand over the controls to akita yes uh, so according to the uh, guidelines issued by uh, uh, district 3220 so each club must have a website linking um, to the official district page and then uh, each club is required to have a blog and they should public publish a minimum of two blogs per month uh furthermore they should at least have one they should at least have a newsletter and they should try to send at least one email newsletter per month next slide please uh so as i explained before they should at least uh, this is one citation as well they should publish at least one significant project uh in a newspaper or magazine annually uh which is a recognized uh, newspaper or magazine uh also they should have um, established partnerships for newspapers radio endorsements and have at least one project per quarter on the radio and then uh, in terms of flyers they should use creative physical flyers and then they should be catered to the audience the club is trying to reach a uh, next slide please uh so we have recommended uh, the following resources for content planning so you can follow these um, resources if you want you can use the rotary calendar hootsuite uh, social media calendar and hubspot editorial calendar moving on yes uh, so for citations uh, i think um, mindya or venucha will be taking this up yes uh thank you afita so under citations requirements uh, this year uh, under mandatory citations uh, first uh, citation requirement would be the club's active presence uh, on facebook instagram and linkedin uh, with a minimum of 5 3 and 2 posts uh, respectively on each platform per month uh, secondly uh, at least one club project uh, should be featured or published in a recognized local or international newspaper magazine or electronic media Uh, and uh, you have to uh, provide the supporting uh, evidence for that uh, publish uh, publications and this does not applicable for installation ceremonies and thirdly uh, execute a minimum of one public relations project that promotes your club identity or rotrac as a brand so those are the mandatory citations uh, you have to cover uh this year and as an optional citation uh, you can maintain an active blog with a minimum of 3 articles per quarter or a quarterly newsletter so finally if you have any uh, if you need any uh, clarifications or if you need any help regarding public relations uh please make sure to reach out uh, you can use the avenue email address publicrelations.rid3220@gmail.com uh and if you haven't already joined the uh avenue directors whatsapp group public relations avenue directors whatsapp group uh, you can scan this qr code or use this uh link to join the whatsapp group uh, so you can uh, share your pr uh, public relations initiatives in there you can ask any questions you can share your knowledge with others so make sure to join the whatsapp group uh, and if you have any uh, questions or if you need any help make sure to email us on this email um, or we have provided the the 
contact details of each member of our PR and editorial team in the Rotaract handbook. You can refer that also. So that's the wind, uh, wind up. Uh, that's all from uh, Public Relations Avenue. Uh, so make sure to follow all these guidelines we have mentioned. And if you need any help, as I mentioned, make sure to reach out. Thank you.